Alright, hello, welcome back to Strawberry Jam. Uh, it is with very, very, the very heavy heart I said that I, well, I lost footage. And, well, okay, the interesting thing is that I think it cancels out pretty well. I want to say I lost footage uh, of, my, of my playthrough from this uh, map, from here on out. I lost the footage of me playing through this. Uh, and I don't know, it's because my computer crashed, so while recording this video, I lost footage. However, because my computer crashed, it also didn't save any progress that I made from this point on. Which means I get to do it again. Uh, which, you know, <laughs> makes me a little bit sad, but... You know what? To be fair, uh, I lost all my footage anyway. Uh, yeah, but just know that I'm just gonna be playing through this to the very end, and I have experienced everything that will happen here. Uh, and so what that means is that generally everything that you see me do from here on out I have done before so it's more going to be a let me show you my thought process through here yeah so I'm very sorry if you guys don't get to see my live reaction to certain things but I've already done like uh, I've already finished the map essentially I did it once Alright, this is the challenging part. <sighs> yeah. So, what I did there was something called a reverse bunny hop. Where I reverse wave dash into a bunny hop. That is not something I think I have ever done before until this map. So, yes. Ah, okay. Well,. Even so, I think it's going to take me a while to actually get back to where I was. But okay. Yeah, that's also a mistake I keep making. Which is a dash a bit too high. I think I inherently assume the dash crystal be to be part of the ground, even though it's not. Which means the ground is a lot higher than it actually is. Right, another trick here that I saw was to uh, follow my own indicator. And in this case, the indicator is the space right between the boards and the barrels. Here you can see. My goal is to dash when I'm right between those. Oh wow, that really doesn't work. So if I dash right between those, I should be able to make it every single time. Should. Of course. There's a lot of other things to factor in, but... Yeah, that's an indicator that I, I, I tried to make for myself. Because this place does not have indicators either. <sighs> Jeez, alright. Yeah, you see that? I was a bit too... I was a bit off there, which is why it didn't work. Another trick I've realized is that for whatever I was doing there, right? With all the bunch of... Uh, with all the bunches of, like, diagonal, uh, dream jumps as well. The general idea there is to do it as fast as possible, because otherwise you fall way too quickly. Okay, that was just horrible. I've done that before, yes. So, I made the same mistake. Okay, that happened to work out for me, but generally that doesn't happen. The working out part, basically. So I have to do this way faster, which is the, which is like generally how I get the height that I, uh, that I require for this. Just do it fast. And the last one has to be a bit later though. Okay, I didn't do this well. Another thing that I was thinking about was instead of doing the reverse bunny hop, which I actually did. 
instead what I did is something like this you know but of course better yeah that feels maybe a bit easier than a reverse bunny hop honestly so I might try that I saw someone else do it and like yeah there's an idea I didn't that did not come to mind at that point I forgot if there's another room after this or this is the final room like there is another room after this but not in the way you might expect okay yeah this 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 room generally took me uh genuinely took me like a very very long time to get so maybe it's good that this is more of a Yes, okay, that's what I did. Right. Okay, that was actually way easier than a reverse bunny hop. Like, look at a reverse bunny hop. Do you know how... That's a reverse bunny hop. That's really tough for me to do, actually. I did it once, but like... Wow, that was really something. Okay. So, for this one, it's really just a getting over it section. You gotta make sure every single thing is as far as you can make it especially this one, this one is challenging, it took me a while to figure out but if you extend over here followed by a diagonal you can actually just barely make it then this one is a simple dream dash so that's the, that's the heart except no wait it isn't the heart because you still have a final room so they faked us out how cool that how cool is that? They faked us out. And this room is basically just sort of a puzzle level. A puzzle room where you have to sort of arrange all of these in a certain way that will allow you to climb up without dashing a single time. And that is because you need to obtain this dash crystal and move up to the very top and use that dash crystal up there to get through. That's the only way. Of course, there's also an easter egg. If you get out of the room here, you'll end up here and say, <laughs> this is not how you solve the puzzle. I'm curious to see what happens on the other side, but I'm assuming the same thing happens. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to solve this on camera. I'm just going to show you how I solved it. This is going to be a very, very short episode. I still might take some time to do it, though. My first idea... Okay, maybe I'll show you my thought process. My first idea was to use the right side, right? Because that was the first idea I saw. Because I saw the right side, you could climb up a lot of stuff. I was like, okay, maybe I should do that. And my first idea was actually sort of close to what I wanted. It turns out that this idea is actually... Or this route that I'm taking is the route you have to take in the second half of this puzzle. The later stage. And you can sort of see why. It's because it's using up a lot of resources. It's... It's taking up a lot of um, empty space that becomes spikes. Which we don't like, because we want to save that standing space for later. How did I die there? <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to show you the one way that doesn't work firstly. Uh, the way that I first tried to do this. And the uh, way I eventually figured out. The route I eventually figured out. So. Ugh, I have to position myself there as well. A very interesting thing about this room is that it's very hard to position yourself, especially it's probably because I'm moving really, really fast. So the way I want to circumvent that is I need to learn how to grab the wall before, um, before dashing through it. And I generally do a dash a lot higher than the bottom spike. Because for some reason, hitboxes really like throwing me against the bottom spike. Like this likely kills you. You have to make sure you're completely out of reach of the bottom spike first. So like, okay, this is still the wrong path, I'm just gonna say. Disclaimer, if you guys are watching this for a solution, it's later on in the video. I didn't want to do that. 
because I want to dash through here, which saves, which quote unquote saves a standing spot. But yeah. Wow, you can actually fail there. You have to kind of fall a little bit first. But no, that is not a solution anyway. So this is more like what you need to do. And then... Uh, I kind of forgot what happens after that because I, I, already, I already went to fix my solution. But generally once you're up there, you make the thing fall, you can... Uh, you can dash up through this block and land there and then dash through here because you already made that block fall, etc, etc. And that generally doesn't work because too many blocks are disappearing which doesn't allow you to stand up properly. The correct solution is this. You start off here, and this allows you to actually access this area without much problems. You don't do that though. Generally what you want to do is you want to save all the middle blocks because they will be the blocks that you use to stand on at the very end. So you want to save them from either disappearing or becoming unusable. So here, I do a bunch of neutral jumps to make it up here. I do a, well, <sighs> I grab onto the side of that wall, of that block, I mean. So I do this, I, I, so, so mad at myself. Oh yeah, also if you guys already didn't know, dashing through a dream block while touching, while having that effect will kill you. So sort of the opposite. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to dash diagonally through, then through here. This causes that block to disappear, and therefore allows you to make it back here. So now you see everything's in place, right? Every middle block has been generally untouched, especially this section, which allows you to climb up quite easily to the very top. And so now, for the very a uh, tricky part of this level. You actually have to dash through the terrain here, through this terrain here. And you need to do that. You need to wait for this to respawn so you can uh, keep this dash by doing this. So now you gotta... You gotta make sure you can make it up here. And the yeah, it should be roughly true from here on out. Yeah, that's the final room. So, if you actually looked at my um, counter, the timer up there, uh, when I actually beat the room, the timer was at 3 hours 50 minutes. So it took me about an hour to get to that last room there. It took me about an hour. So yeah, this is definitely something. Ah, but okay, we're done. Which means that all you need to do is get the heart. And yeah, don't worry, this is a real one. Real heart. I also have to learn here. There's a little trick they can... There's a little trick... Uh, I don't know if it's buffer dashing, but... You can somehow dash immediately after getting bounced off the heart, which should land you into the heart. Oh wow. They put me back into the lobby. I think the I I don't know what happens to my game, but uh yeah. Interestingly enough, it reset basically everything when my computer crashed. My time is still on though, so I believe that all my progress should be saved up to the point where I last saw it. Just to, just to check really quick. Yeah, see, the jam is filled. So. Yeah, it was really from the last save point that I had. Okay. So, so for some reason, I have to make it all the way back to this area. Uh-oh. They don't mean to do that. Wow! I, has, I set zero checkpoints up to that point. I also forgot, kind of, where... 
it actually is. It's not here, this is Golden Dawn. Tower? Oh, Tower is not even here, Tower is there. What? <laughs> Sorry, that was a fake block. Okay, I'm so sorry that you guys have to <laughs> experience this. I think it was up there. This is not the tower, but it was kind of close to here. Somewhere. Is it up there? I don't remember where it is. Yeah, I think it- wait a minute, wait a minute, no it's not. Wait a minute, wait, no this is different, this is not Call of the Void, right. Where- where is it? Where is it? <laughs> where is it? Where did I put it? Oh, oh my gosh, I get trolled. I'm telling you, the more I play this game, the more I'm getting unintentionally trolled by the level creators. Where is it? Where is it? I'm so mad. I think the entire reason is I'm just kind of tired of this. That's not it. I have a bench yard. Let's see. Is it not there? Wait, what? Am I stupid? Or oh, is it here? Oh my god, I was looking at the wrong place the whole time. No, this is Toggle Theory. Wait, what? Don't tell me I didn't, I didn't beat it. No, 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 this is right, I think. No, this is Synapse. Hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, where is it? Wherever it is, I don't think I beat it then, because it looks like I didn't beat it. Actually, it could be the one over there. Yeah, there's two reds over there, which would correspond to- Ah, uh, no, one is Superstructure, one is Toggle Theory, I'm pretty sure. This is Superstructure, isn't the Toggle Theory the one on top? Yeah, those are the two I did beat. And I don't think I'd be anything else according to the map. Unless I did. In which case, jeez. No, no. Wait, is it up there? Oh, it is. It is. It is. Alright. I'm really, really. Okay. It's up here. Yeah, okay. I did beat it. My goodness. A thousand deaths. Yeah, this one is the craziest one yet. Oh. <sighs> Uh, I, w I want to say after the last two episodes and after the computer crash, it, this this is very likely um, the level that gave me the worst experience in the game. It's not even like its fault in general. I, I will agree that the design is is um, a little questionable in terms of like, you know, uh, I don't, don't want to do a review right now. The design is sort of questionable in that it's very hard to tell what you have to do. Now I don't know if that's part of the puzzle, like if it is it intended for you to have to figure out exactly what to do there. Uh, it is also exceptionally, exceptionally challenging even for advanced. Like I know it uses advanced tech only, which is why it is in advanced, but even so it is really, really, really difficult. The climbing that you have to do is unlike anything that you have ever seen before. This is not a gradual step up from anything before it. Like, the previous level was super structured, and that one I had like a lot of fun with, generally because um, you didn't have to spend time trying to route your uh, way through a room, and, and generally because... Well, for one, they have indicators. This one doesn't have indicators at all. Maybe that's the point though, maybe that's the point. Uh, there was a heart faker in the last room. I mean, that's fine sometimes. In this case, I don't think it really matters that much to me. Because just adding one more room anyway, it's not bad. Is it devastating to see that your heart is taken away from you and you're thrown into a final room that takes you another hour to beat? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But, uh, yeah. Um, if I could make any changes to this map, 
if I could, I would add subtle, subtle, um, sub subtle indicating. So like you know, lamps or chains to indicate. Like this lamp could indicate a position in which you dash. Because otherwise I have to make my own indicators to make things consistent. Like these lamps are in an okay spot as long as there's something above them, right? For superstructure, the the indicators were um were siren lights. Which is good. It's a nice indicator. It's in the background so it's unobtrusive, but it still allows you to tell you what to do. Same for the, the clone level. That one had uh special colored lamps to tell you when to dash and when to throw. That was very helpful as well. But this one doesn't have any of it. So I'm a bit sad about that. Uh, another thing I would change is putting this in friggin' expert. I saw a YouTube comment that said that even if they were at Grandmaster level, they still had trouble with this thing. Which, yeah, I agree why. I, I absolutely see why. Maybe it's just because I'm in advanced right now and not in Grandmaster. But if a Grandmaster player has trouble with this map, which is in advanced, then wow. I mean, I, I mean, at the very least, put it in, like, expert advanced so we have something to expect. I would have played the uh, advanced hard side. And it's like, advanced right now has like 25 maps in it, so it's it's fine if you remove one and just put it somewhere else anyway. Right? We have like an excess of maps here. And if that's not possible, then at the very least put this at the final level. Like, make this one of the final few levels. It's completely unjustified as to like... Why would this level shop so early in the reds? If you compare it to everything else, I think I'm just rambling on and on about difficulty problems, but yeah. I wanna say I'm just quite mad at this level. Ah <sighs> But that's fine, honestly. You do you, okay? You do you. I've seen people say that this is bad level design, but honestly. It's fine if you think about it. A few tweaks to the level and I think it should be an okay level to have. Just not for my difficulty point of view at this point. Alright, so... Finally done with that level. Oh my goodness, look at that. Took me a hundred deaths to get to the very end as well. Oh, was my first clear time 313? I swear it was 350. Okay. Well, interesting enough. No other level has caused me to die as many times except Attack of the Clone. Which, I would agree, also took me quite a while. But hey. That one, that one didn't feel as bad for some reason, and I don't know why. Next up we have Starlight Station, so I think we'll make our way over there now. I think I've rambled on for long enough. Time to keep moving. Starlight Station, I think it's down there, if I remember correctly. Ah, aye aye, tectonic trenches. Is this Starlight Station? Doesn't look like it. The lab, alright. Cool. The lab. No, you're not. Have I seen you? Oh yeah, the lethal laser laboratory. Right. I don't really, um... Didn't really pay attention to the... Where's the... There you are. I didn't really pay attention to the colors of the jam lids. Oh, there's one right there. I think this might be it. Right down here. Actually, isn't this the one that I saw? No, it is not. Right? Yeah. Oh, this is thinking with portals though. It's not the same one. Yeah. Okay, I guess Starlight Station isn't actually here. Fair enough. <sighs> yeah, that level has me brain dead. No, that's Dust City. We saw that one. It's not down here. I don't think it's up there. Is it actually here? Really? Okay. Oh. No, this is ah, uh, this is the f this is a stupid uh <laughs> birthday one, birthday Valentine's one. Okay, there's another one up here, it might be it. No, the other one up here is Synapse, right? Where is Star... 
uh, Starlight Station. Oh, you can stand there. Hi. Uh, is it is it really up here? Wait, is there anything I've missed? You know, that could be just a map that I completely missed, right? I think there's a lab, thinking of portals, and... What were the three over there? The lab, thinking of portals... Wait, there's one more here. Wait, hold on, there is one more here. I only saw two. Wait, what? There's one that goes downwards a bit. Oh, hi. No, yeah, right side down cavern. Still the wrong one, though. Uh, okay. Starlight Station. We already saw all of those, I think. So is it up here? Is this Starlight Station? Oh, I've never seen this one before. What the? It is Starlight Station. Okay, how have I never seen this map before? Right, well... Oh, I'm kind of tired of Celeste at this point. I'm just gonna end the video here. Uh, I hope, I, I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Or at the very least, you know, don't dislike it. I, I could get why I come off as a bit harsh in this video. I've been playing for like, I think two hours at this point, and I am just quite mad that uh, the computer crashed it, so being very, very uh, cranky right now. Yeah, so I'm sorry you have to sit through this. Uh, but I really hope you did enjoy this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.